Sailing from the Manhattan Cruise Terminal in New York City to our destination in Bermuda, we experienced the splendor and beauty of the Manhattan skyline as our ship sailed down the Hudson River and out to sea. Taking a cruise to Bermuda is a lot different than almost any other cruising experience. While most cruises only give you at most 12 hours at each port of call before it's time to sail off to the next destination, a cruise to Bermuda is much more like having a floating hotel accompany you on a vacation. This is because the ship spends a few days docked at the same spot, where you can come and go as you please from the gangway that's open 24 hours a day. Most cruise lines that offer week-long cruises to Bermuda only spend tops three days there. But Holland America gives you that rare choice of a fourth day. At a length of only 719 feet, the Holland America MS Veendam is an older and smaller ship than most other cruise ships that sail to Bermuda. It has the advantage of being the only ship that's small enough to dock right in Hamilton. Other cruise lines dock at the Royal Naval Dockyards a good 45 minutes away by taxi or bus, or half an hour by ferry. The advantage of being docked right in the heart of Hamilton is having the nightlife, entertainment, and shopping of Front Street literally at your doorstep. The MS Veendam also spends the first night anchored at St. George, something else other ships don't offer. Now while the Veendam is not on the same caliber of grandeur as the much larger and newer ships that cruise to Bermuda, it was recently renovated in 2009, part of Holland America's plan to renovate their entire fleet. This smaller size is an advantage for those that don't want to deal with the massive crowds of the ships that hold three, maybe 4,000 passengers, all trying to come and go at once. On the Veendam, with its maximum passenger capacity of only about 1,300, there's almost always an empty chair by the pool or in a lounge. The Veendam doesn't offer as much in the way of activities for children as other ships, but Holland America really isn't known for a kid-friendly atmosphere anyway. The Veen Dam's lounges were small yet inviting, with jazz bands and other musicians frequently playing. The showroom at sea is where the nightly entertainment takes place. It's proportional to the size of the ship, but will be very underwhelming to anyone accustomed to the theaters of much larger mega ships. The casino is one of the most disappointing aspects of the Veen Dam. It was so small that they don't even have a craps table, so if you're an avid gambler, you may want to look elsewhere. The food offerings were very good and was a much higher caliber than some of the traditionally less expensive cruise lines. In the next video, we'll explore the various sites and activities that there are to do in Bermuda. 